Professor Shoyuka, I think we'll start from where my learned friend stopped. Can you take a look at Exhibit 2, page 3? Yes, Can sir. you read the area that mentions Mr. Abdul Qadir, Musa Abdul Qadir? Mm. The Rivers State Commissioner of Police, Mr. Abdul Qadir Musa, who was the commanding officer, one amphibious brigade, was on hand to receive the suspects, in quotation. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, so where were you between February 1977, 97? and September 98. Oh, uh, in exile. You were in exile. Mm. So you were not in Nigeria yeah. when that event occurred? Nope. So you only wrote what you were told? Absolutely. Thank what you, What I investigated. Thank you, sir. Mm. Sir, you are one of the founding fathers of the Pirate Confraternity. And your name, your piratical name, sir, is Captain Blood. Correct? Yes. Thank you. So you also said whilst reading your petition that Nigerian pub that the Nigerian public has demonized the pirate confraternity, correct? Yes. Thank you. You are, sir, the life chairman and spiritual head of the Pirate Confraternity? No, I'm considered, I'm given all sorts of titles, but certainly not Life Chairman. Uh, some kind of title involving spiritual head, spiritual advisor, it's not even codified, it's not But you structured. are the spiritual head? No, I, I'm telling you by what names I'm sometimes referred. Okay. Uh, but certainly it didn't, doesn't include Life Chairman, okay. we try to avoid so. Okay, sir, but members of your Fraternity are expected to get spiritual inspiration from you. Absolutely. Thank you. So I will be correct to say, sir, that the Pirate Confraternity is both a spiritual and a humanitarian confraternity? Uh, because somebody is considered a spiritual inspiration does not mean that it, <laughs> it's a spiritual organization that considers him so. It's two different things. What, 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 what does it mean? Spiritual is something nebulous. When you, when you run out of words, I don't know what to do. Sir, sir, sir I'd no. like to, I, I would like to appeal to you, sir, to use simple English so that we can understand. <laughs> ne nebulous means something you cannot really lay hold of. Um, it's, it's a vague expression. You see, a spiritual organizations, uh, organization has to do with religion, for instance, with spirituality. Uh, I can guarantee you that uh, the Paris Confraternity con is, contains all kinds of religions, from traditional to you know, Muslims, uh, Christians, so obviously it cannot, be, uh, cannot have a religion. That's the di distinction I'm trying to make. Thank you, sir. You would agree with me, sir, that your name and person lend some kind of creed, um, credibility to your association. Yes, I suppose so. Thank you. So you would agree with me as um, a lecturer, a university lecturer, that parents send their children to schools to become better responsible people and to go to You would agree with me, sir, that parents send their children to school to become proper well-educated citizens of this country and they're not expected to participate in drinking of alcohol and other things that could mislead them. 
Um, I think you're taking a very puritanic view of what university education is like, very narrow. Um, to say that a grown-up uh, um, youth who can be sent to war at any time uh, cannot drink moderately in uh, the university, I disagree absolutely with you. So while saying that the public has mistakenly addressed your organization as demonic, what would you term a name as Captain Blood, Evil Jesus, Evil Crucifix, Holy Satan, Lucifer the Sampler, Jesus Iscariot, Islamic Pope, Devil Angelica, Faithful Judas, and Devil's Alternative? I used an expression here in my petition in which I referred to the organization as one with many idiosyncrasies. One of these idiosyncrasies is uh, not to take themselves too seriously, to in fact have a spirit of self-deflation. It's a kind of homeopathy. Yeah, in other words, you actually can give yourself a name which in fact is the very opposite of what you're supposed to be. It is part sir, of the nature of fraternities. Sir, mm. you will agree with me that a name can influence the life of somebody. Depending on what the name means for the bearer. There's an expression which goes thus. It's not what you call me, but what name I answer to. And that means what is the meaning behind the name. So you will agree with me, sir, that Lucifer, the sampler, can affect the life of the bearer of that name? No. Only it is immature and uh, subject to what we call hypnotic suggestion. Sir, and those who admit her to the Paris Confraternity are beyond that. Professor Shoinka, mm -hmm. are your children members of this confraternity? Yes, my son, uh, Olaokun, is a member. He was initiated. He's a member of the Zero Meridian, that's the chapter in London. Yes, yes. You also said, Professor Wallace that membership is open to well-meaning individuals of the public. Correct? Yes, indeed, but very strictly, you know, vetted. Very strictly vetted. Are women and disabled members of your association? Disabled, yes. One of our most prominent uh, members, I can't remember his name now, maybe somebody can remind me. Uh, oh, in fact, yes. He gave himself the piratical name Wheelchair, Ahoy Wheelchair, because he was permanently on wheelchair. See, that's a kind of sense of humor which people have, that they don't mind, you know, making fun of themselves. Uh, women are not admitted, but that is, the, uh, that is because the organization decided to be an all-male character. The Boy Scouts do Sir, not... Sir, I, I will be correct to say that women are not members of your organization because we cannot carry out the violent requirements that you require to be a member of the Pirate Confraternity. I will respond to that by saying that there are many women affiliates who actually accompany their husbands, their boyfriends to many of the functions and actually take pride in the membership of their but well, they are not members. They are not full members, no. Thank you. Mm. Professor Shoyinka, your organization, you claim, is registered. Yes. Your yes, organization it's registered. is registered. It's registered. Can you take a look at this certificate of incorporation, sir, mm. and confirm to this commission Yes, this looks like a copy of the real thing. Can you take a look, sir, at the conditions and directions? Uh, under, under the signature? Yes. Can you read it to okay. this commission? This certificate is liable to cancellation should the objects or the rules of the body 
be changed without the previous consent in writing of the minister or should the body at any time permit or condone any divergence from or breach of such objects and rules? You will agree with me, sir, that the ideals of your organization are no longer what it was meant to be. Oh, I disagree, absolutely. You disagree? Oh, no, disagree. S sir, you know a certain Dr. Ola Gondori. Ola Agunloye. Agunloye, yes. 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 He is one of your members and yes. one of the founding fathers of yes. the organization. He was quoted as saying that he's surprised that your, the, 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 the students now in campuses have derailed from the ideals for which your organization was set up. And you have also, you even said it some last week or something at a convocation ceremony, that they have changed the ideals of the fraternities. Yeah, they began. These are other organizations. They have not changed the ideals of the Paris Confraternity. No. But they claimed to be fraternities. And I say that these are not what fraternity is about. So these are totally different organizations. Professor Shoyinka, you are aware that universities have prescribed the activities of your association on their campuses. I'm sorry you're wrong. The Paris Confraternity voluntarily withdrew on orders from campuses because they were sick and tired of being confused with the evil cults. They withdrew. The date, oh, at least 12 years ago, 15 years ago, they withdrew voluntarily. Professor Shoyinka, are you aware that sometime in 1972, the Amadou Bello University prescribed the activities of the Pirate Confraternity because two students died after the initiation ceremony of the Pirate Confraternity? I'm not aware of any such story. Well, Professor Shoyinka, the universities prescribed your organization because they believed that it was not in the interest of national security and it was not in the interest of public safety and public order. Um, may I repeat something which I said in an interview recently? These very, these very vice chancellors who have prescribed uh, certain organizations, I'm not saying I agree with what you've just said, it's amazing that many of them are responsible for the furthering of these secret cults on campuses. I mean, this is on record, and if you call for the security reports, you'll find the case of uh, vice chancellors who, in fact, employed these uh, secret cult members as their bodyguards. They use them to harass the uh, progressive lecturers. They use them even to throw the luggage, the property of these progressive lecturers, I refer to the University of Benin, for instance, one of the most notorious, you know, into the streets. So you see, when authorities give reasons sometimes why they proscribe certain organizations, it's very important to have independent commissions sometimes to look into the real reason behind them. Okay, um, Professor Wole Shoinka, you also said whilst giving testimony here that your organizations contributed, um, donated blood. What landmark contribution has your organization made to Nigeria in fighting, in terms of fighting against tribalism, for which was one of your objects, your objectives? What have, what, what have you done Let since me, 1952 among, besides donating blood? Among, oh, just me, among... Um, the many activities, I spoke about symposia, which will take place during Converge. The theme changes every year. And the public is always invited to participate in the symposia because part of the function of the fraternity is to educate the public and to reorientate the minds of the public. Give you one other instance of the functions of the, of the activities of this uh, organization. It unilaterally looked into the fraudulent activities of the toll gates at the very beginning of the, uh, of the installation of toll gates. Discovered that millions were going down the drain and received, in fact, a letter of commendation and thanks from the Ministry of Works. The, the, event, the various activities of the Confrat are, are numerous. I just don't want to you know, go through the, the whole list. Uh, and when you talk about what have they done to reduce tribalism? Is this something one can really measure, you know, beyond 
symposia beyond showing example by their own way of life. Is there something they could do beyond that? Professor Shoyinka, will it surprise you to know that in course of the initiations of your members, they are, make, they, they, they are given a concussion known as Bloody Mary, which also contains weed, blood, and other things. You see, this is part of the gross mythification that takes place in public. And I'm really distressed that this is being presented to me almost like a statement of fact. In the handbook of the piratical uh, organization, which I hope uh, will be presented here, you will find that drunkenness earns what is known as one of the punitive spots and uh, the, the various great spots in which you are, you know, you collect very many and you are booted out permanently. The smoking of weed is simply not permitted. However, vis-a-vis -vis this habit of calling things by the wrong name, you'll find uh, that the word weed is used. Thank you. And you find it means cigarette. Well, 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 sir, take a look at this. The requirements for lovers. The, the, well, the first page. Th well, this is not my document, and um, I, I would rather not be associated. I would rather this came through whoever prepared it. Um, it's important for me to state here, by the way, that there have been so-called initiations into Paris confraternity held throughout the... Uh, we unmasked, for instance, a syndicate which was charging quite a substantial amount of money for allegedly initiating people into the Paris confraternity. And it was a totally non-existent deck, as we call it. This is one of the reasons I don't want to, I would rather you show so, it to... So, sir, I am sure that you will agree with me that a lot of activities have taken place by members of your association without your noting. Oh, of course, but what I'm saying is that even that by non-members, okay, by non-members. That's okay, sir. By non-members. That, that, that's okay, sir. Sir, you also served during the regime of Ibrahim Badamosi Babangida. Correct? Said what, sir? You said on the General Ibrahim Badamosi Babangida. No, I did not. You did, sir. I did not. You served as the head of the Road Safety Corps. Uh, what you see, again, we're in the problem of use of expression. I don't consider serving the nation to reduce road accidents free of charge, without any salary, without any allowances, using my own office and sometimes my own resources. I do not consider but that serving under, under. It was during his regime. Ah, during. I served the nation <laughs> during. <laughs> Sir. It was also, I am surprised, sir, that it was during that regime that your literary colleague, Maman Vatsa, was executed. It was during that regime, yes. How can you reconcile, sir, serving or being associated with Ibrahim Babangida, who we all know did a lot, caused a lot of violations in Nigeria. How can you reconcile that with your quest for human rights? Let me remind you that I invented the Road Safety Corps in Nigeria, and I did it under or during a military regime, the military regime of Olusegun or Basanjo. For me, there were certain issues uh, including issues of life and death, which transcended certain considerations, uh, at least on a temporary level in this nation. And may I remind you that the first road safety corps, which was inst instituted in this country, was destroyed under a civilian regime, the regime of Shehu Shagari. In other words, you find that sometimes uh, military regimes in certain aspects uh, 
can act or respond in a humanitarian level, which it seems from what happened that even civilian regimes don't seem capable of. So since I was not earning one kobo on the Bangida, and as I always said, I was prepared to throw out the uh, regime from my office anytime, I had absolutely no problem of contradiction, especially as it was a continuation of something which I began under a military regime. Sir, um, I would be correct to say that if you had the opportunity, you would have done the same thing under the regime of Abacha. Uh, that's a very preposterous presumption, very preposterous. Uh, it, is, it is totally inconceivable. And may I remind you that I resigned from that organization when it became clear that Babangida was not going to leave office at the time he promised he would. Uh, through their job, their uh, assignment back in their faces, and I moved to now devote more time to the politics of this nation. That began under Madamasi Babangida. Well, that would be all for this, Thank you Thank very you. much, Sam. Any other questions? Just as an aside, Council was talking about name. Council for, you meant a lot of um, about 20 minutes about the names. Something occurred to me about what is the, in a name a rose by any other name we smell as sweet. This is one side of it. The other side, give a man a name and he'll play the part. So you have to reconcile the two in your also, address. I may add, hang, give a dog a bad name in order to hang it. That's the three, now. Three sides of name. Honorable Professor, at page three of your supplementary petition. Stand here. Sorry, my lord. That my noble prof professor, at page three of the supplemental to your original petition, you said, without wasting the time of the commission, the first major item reads 14th April 97, illegal arrest and detention in Inugum by Colonel Sule Ahman. Arrested Ifani Onoche, Dr. Kelvin Ezike, Jude Olotu, Idika Kalu, Onyekachi Elechi, Chambali Mbacha, Ifani Wajaku, Barista Cyprian Okeke, Okeke Ndubweze, and Ifani Egwatu. Arrest and torture conducted by Lieutenant Now Captain Ahmed Taiwo and Lieutenant Salihu. Duration of ordeal, three and a half months. Last date of detention. 14th November 1997. Relief sought, release of seized materials, payment of compensation. By extension of the first question of the last council that cross examined you, sir, you were not in Nigeria too. Nope. Between, I've, I've not landed, sir. Between the period of 14th April 1997 to November 1997. You are not in Nigeria, sir? No. Where were you, sir? Oh, I'll have to look at my many passports to no, no. tell you exactly where. Uh, may I point out, Your Lordship, also that even if I were in Nigeria, I could not have been present at all of these events. I would have to conduct my serious investigation. So, sorry, sir, you are not sure of your whereabouts at this period? The exact place? No. No, whether you are within or without Nigeria. Could you just repeat the date again? That between the period of 14th April 1997 to 14th November 1997, where were you, sir? Outside Nigeria. Outside Nigeria, mm -hmm. sir. And that means, sir, that since you are not in Nigeria, it is a hearsay. Um, does the Whatever you have said under this major item, is an information passed to you. Would you say that after the police are informed about a crime and they investigate that it is still a hearsay? <laughs> no, would, would you use that expression for 
for your report after investigating certain crimes? Would you use the most, word hearsay? With the utmost humility, sir, you may not be able to ask me a question. Th thank you, sir. I'm cross-examining you, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, I am saying, sir, that since you are not in Nigeria, you were informed about the incidents of 14th April 1997 to November 14th November 1997, sir. Yeah, I wasn't present at Ken. Well. He was hanging also. Very well, sir. But he was hanged, he and his companions also. Thank you, sir. Sir, on the 31st of October 1980, you decided to incorporate the National Association of CDOX. You, your certificate was issued. Certificate of incorporation was issued for National Association of CDOX. On the 31st of October 1980, sir. I think so, but I think you better ask that question of the officials. You, see, you are taking me as an official, and I am not. So I cannot be specific no, about this. You see, sir, you have said so much about the. In general terms. The aim and objectives. In general terms. Of National Association of CDOX. And in light of that, I'm, where I'm going actually is this, sir. That if you are incorporating the kind of association you have, sir, you are always required to have submitted with your application form your aims and objectives. Excuse me, could you talk to the executive about this? I have just repeated, I am not an official of the Paris Confraternity. Could you wait and speak to the executive, those who incorporated it, who know the dates, who presented the papers? I do not have that kind of information. Are in you a member of the National Association of Sea Dogs by the 31st of October 1980, sir? Yes, certainly. I've never, never ceased to be a member. Thank never you, Never ceased to be a member. And on the third, you are, in the society you are a member, sir, you submitted with your application for incorporation some aims and objectives. Excuse me, I did, when he says you submitted, I do not know what was submitted, I was not present, and I don't take part in the day-to-day -day activities of the chapters. I mean, why don't you wait for somebody who can provide this information? Who is in custody of your aims and objectives and your certificates, sir? I presume, definitely, should be in the possession of the executive, the, either the secretary or the president or whatever, the president uh, Kapun, as we call them. It's another word for you. You see, sir, why this is very important to us, sir, with yes. due humility, is that the conditions and direct directions pursuant to which or premise upon which the certificate was issued to you on the 31st of October 1980, sir, reads thus, and I quote, it said, this certificate is liable to cancellation should the objects or the rules of the body be changed without the previous consent in writing of the minister, or should the body at any time permit or condone any divergence from or breach of such objects or rules. That is why it's very important, sir, in blowing the trumpet of the association, in trying to show that it's an association that targets with this kind of society we are, sir, we must know too, sir, that originally, when you go to even incorporate your aims and objectives, tallies with what you claim that association to be, so that we know whether there's a divergence or not. We leave that as that, sir, because, sir, I know you cannot be able to answer me adequately. Thank you. Thank you, sir. No. Now, let me take you to another area, sir. You have said in your evidence, sir, that consequent upon either ejection from the association or refusal to admit into the association, some people have taken it upon themselves, sir, to go and form some other confraternities. That was your evidence, sir. Freedom of association, absolutely. No, what I'm, no, I'm not asking you about the question. Right? I say, sir, consequent upon your refusal to admit some people, or your ejectment of some people. They have not taken it up, some have taken it upon themselves to form some confraternities. Who we know about that. Very well, sir. That very word, confraternity, you use, sir, is part of the words of your association, i.e., pirate confraternity. Yes. Very well, yes. sir. You have also said, sir, that probably based on the background of these children, who have later formed those your own described heinous associations, you have said, sir, that their activities 
are inimical to the society. Doing the evidence. Those are other activities. Those other societies. Yes, I know about Very well, sir. And I was not even present at some of those activities. Very well, sir. In reference to your last uh, question. Very well, sir. And just like the Pirates Confraternity, sir, those other associations, apart from bearing the, the name Confraternity, they equally have some names which are known to only members alone. And that is not the name they bear in the open world. You agree with me, sir? You're talking about other organizations? Yes, sir. I mean, why are you questioning me about other organizations? Because, sir, because, sir, you so much know about the activities that you even know that the activities are inimical to the society. I know as much as you do. You no, read sir. it in the papers. No. You, you do hear about people who took machine gun to my former university of Ife, claimed they were, they belonged to a fraternity and mowed down other students. Mil are you saying that is not public knowledge? Sir, when you were being taken, when you are being taken on oath, sir, the last one was said, so help me God. And you said, so I affirm. What does that mean, sir? Why not say, so help me God? Uh, excuse me, do I have to answer that kind of question? If you insist, yes. I will. No. If you insist, I no. will. You see, the, uh, the point is, yes. if you want to. You answer if you know the answer. You say you don't you answer. Don't I prefer but the affirmation I, I, because I, I, my, I remind counsel that uh, this commission is to investigate gross violations of human rights. Yes, not sir. to investigate the fraternity. Yes, it, unless it abridged your right. Yes, sir. Uh -huh, then a petition. But we are just listening to you. You don't want to stop anybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, to save time, I'll answer him, although I don't want to get to the subject of religion. Yes, sir. I'm not a Christian. I am not a Muslim. Thank you, sir. And uh, I'm not right, I'm even right, an sir. animist. I'm all right, sir. I'm, I'm most grateful. I believe in humanity. I'm, I'm, most I'm a humanist. You are neither a Muslim or Christian. I'm a humanist. Thank you very much, sir. I'm most grateful. Sir, you, I'm sure you must have been told, sir, or do you know, sir, that proceedings upon the alleged violations of members of your society within the period of 14th April 97 to 14 November 1997 is being addressed before this Honorable Commission, sir. Yes, and I make a point of mentioning it in my submission so that there is no duplication. Very well, sir. And I'm sure you are aware too, sir, that evidence on even the issue of this alleged human rights abuses have not even been co commenced upon here, sir. Not in Abuja, but in Port Harcourt and Enugu. Yeah, I said particularly they were consolidated, but particularly that of Enugu, evidences have not even commenced on them. Oh, I do not know what the actual position of the and, hearing is. And in that respect, sir, if, that is the, if you don't know about the position, sir, you agree with me, sir, that you, are, you will not be too safe or too sure of being able to recommend whether against whether anybody's right has been violated or not. May it has I, not been established. I would, I would like to invite counsel to look at the date on these petitions. Yes, sir. The, second, the first petition was written in, uh, in my anxiety to make sure I did not miss the deadline. Yes, and sir. later on, I then took the trouble to start investigating other cases which I considered linked with me. My point before this panel, uh, this commission, is to say that certain people have suffered, have undergone inhuman treatment on account of me, and therefore any weight I can lend to their petition, it is my moral responsibility to do so. This is what I've always done in all my life. In Inugu, sir, your rights, your human rights were not violated. In where? In Inugu. Between the days of 14th April 1997 to 14 November 1997, your human rights were never violated in Enugu. Was Wale showing car? Yes, sir. No, not, not in Enugu. No. Very well, sir. And whatever you are told, yes, sir, is an information given to you. <laughs> I invest. I just want to recap my. Look, even during the Abacha days, we had a very strong investigative network. Uh, which uncovered a number of the atrocities before they became known to the Nigerian people. And if the panel wishes, I can give you one or two examples lastly, to sir. show you how efficient we were lastly, at our investigation. Lastly, sir, 
your, commission, your petition alleges issues of brutality, material losses, torture, and murder. My simple positing to you, sir, is that as the case with respect to Inugu concerning the member of the Paris is concerned now, that recommendation starts suspended unless it is established there is a, there is a violation. Because it is before the commission. This is the work of the commission to decide who is lying. Thank you very much, sir. That lies on this side or on your side.